Hey guys, Brandon Polnick here, and I'm gonna give you guys a couple of the tips that I use anytime I'm out there throwing a deep dive in crankbait. You know, it's one of my favorite ways to catch fish, and it's a good way to catch a lot of big fish at a lot of different times of the year. So one of the big key things is, obviously you're gonna use your electronics most of the time to find the areas that you're fishing, whether it's a ditch, rock pile, whatever it may be, you're gonna to wanna to find that. And you know, a, a good example of that is this year's Bassmaster lead event at Lake Havasu, right? The bank was perfectly flat, but I found those little nice rocky points coming out and they met mud. So a lot of times I always look for an edge, right? That's gonna, whether it's a grass edge, a road bed, that edge creates a point where those fish can funnel the bait fish, right? It positions them and it gives them cover to hide in. So I'll make that cast like right here. If you imagine there's rock underneath here and it meets that mud, I get my boat lined up and I'm gonna make a cast directly down that edge. And I wanna bring it with the current. Anytime you have current, nine times out of 10, those fish are gonna be positioned facing up current. And those fish, you wanna bring it right into their face. A big key to throwing these deep diving crankbaits is being able to make that long cast. That long cast is gonna give you better depth out of your crankbait, right? You're gonna get your crankbait down in the strike zone quicker and it's gonna stay down in your strike zone. Uh, another thing is that you really wanna play with your retrieve speeds. Sometimes the fish, depending on the time of the year, the situation, they either want a super fast burning where that crankbait's just deflecting off the cover, it's real wild, real erratic, or sometimes they just want that bait crawling, just barely creeping over the rocks. One tip, if I'm fishing 15, 16 foot of water, I may pick up something like an Arashi Deep 18 and throw that in 15, 16 foot of water because that's gonna allow me to keep bottom contact but be able to fish that bait at just a kind of a slow crawling speed. Getting that dive angle down, getting down into that strike zone and staying down there a lot longer are really key when you're fishing deep diving crankbaits. And you know, one thing that allows you to be able to do that is a circuit board lip. That thinner design allows that bait to take less water movement to get that bait to move. So it's gonna dive quicker, right? The, when we reel that bait down, it's gonna almost dive vertically down into the water column, down into our strike zone, and it's gonna stay down there longer. It allows us to be able to get more bites that way. We're down in there, we're where the fish live, you gotta make sure that anytime you're fishing a deep dive and crankbait especially is that that bait is running straight and true every single time all the way back to the boat. With this Storm Arashi, this is the Deep 18, one thing that really allows it to be able to do that is the fact that it's got that self-tuning line tie. We took that from some of the previous models and it worked so well in keeping that bait straight is that it, it allows it to get down there deeper and the deflection qualities of it are a lot better because what happens is, if you were to pretend that my reel was a rock, generally a crankbait would hit and it would deflect far off of the rock and it would come back on track a lot further. Well, if that fish is sitting right behind the rock, he may never see it. With the self-tuning line tie, it actually moves side to side. It keeps it on track, true, all the way through the cast. And when it hits, it deflects and that self-tuning line tie kicks in and it puts it right back into the fish's face. And that will trigger a lot of strikes when a lot of crankbaits will actually miss those fish. One more key feature, being able to put big hooks on there. When I'm making those long casts, I'm fishing for big fish, I wanna be able to get a good hook in those fish and having rotated hook hangers where they're actually perpendicular with the body allows me to upgrade my hooks, put a larger size on there, and it's just gonna give me a little bit more opportunity to get a better hook in those fish and land more fish when I get them close to the boat.